what's up? It's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very special day as always because I'm going to be sharing with you all of the gadgets that I use to shoot my Instagram photos, blog pictures, YouTube videos, you name it. All of the gadgets are going to be listed down below and I'm going to talk about them more in detail. So if you are interested, then keep on watching. First thing I'm going to be talking about is my Instagram photos and blog photos. So, all of the gadgets are behind me. This is my go-to camera as of the moment. It is the very beautiful Leica Q. I saved up for it and I love it to bits and pieces. So if you look at my photos and see a very sharp but creamy, soft-skinned look, this is the camera that I'm using to shoot that. It's a really amazing camera, quite pricey, but I did sell all of my old cameras and all of my old lenses to purchase this and I really don't regret it because I don't know, I mean, a lot of the photographers I talk to say that once you use Leica, you really become spoiled and Leica is, there's really something about it. A lot of people also say, you know, once, you're, once you use Leica, you become a Leica snob. Uh, I, it's just because this camera spoils you so much eh. Parang it's not even, it's not even the number of pixels or all of that techie stuff. There's just something about the lens that makes the photo so uniquely Leica and it makes you prettier. When you use it, it makes you feel good. All of the buttons are just here, so you don't have to keep going to the menu and finding the settings that you want. It's just here, it's just here. It's so easy to use. And you guys seem to really like my photos and I'm not a professional photographer, so that says a lot, right? So these photos here are shot all with the Leica. I shoot them raw, which I just started to do. I'm gonna do a separate video about how I edit my Instagram photos and my blog photos, so watch out for that. But yeah, I use this camera for my Instagram. Not all the time though, because sometimes Slater shoots me and he uses his Leica M, which is a different camera. And sometimes a photographer shoots me, like if you noticed my New York photos, those are all shot with a Nikon, I think by my friend Martin. Sometimes my sister Jack shoots me, so all of my photos in Portugal were shot by a Canon 5D Mark III. Sometimes I use my phone. My case is from Casetify, by the way. Thank you so much. It's really pretty. The shaky thing. iPhone can shoot raw. There are certain apps that allow you to shoot raw, so if you're really into like making your photo quality really amazing, then check that out. Anyway, yeah, that's it for Instagram photos. Now, when I do shoot my vlogs, I use my Canon G7X and usually I hook it up to this thing over here, the Gorilla Pod. So I place that here, face it up and then just do this. And then and then the camera's here. Getting the camera at arm's length really helps make, you know, make you see the background. And what I love about the Canon G7X Mark II is that it has a tilt screen. So when you're shooting vlogs and you're traveling, you can see what's in focus, what you can see in the background and if your face is still clear in the shot. And I love this camera because it really is quick to focus. If you're a YouTube fan, then you'll know that a lot of YouTubers really use this camera for vlogs. It's, I think it's the favorite because it can focus really fast. So if I'm like shooting something over here and then I pan here and then I pan to myself, the focus is like, like that. I can't snap my fingers, but you know what I mean. And also when I shot with Discovery Channel in Hong Kong, um, I met this really legit sound guy. And uh, he gave me this fluffy thing. What do you call it? A rabbit's foot? I'm not sure. But he gave me this fluffy thing to put over the sound part of the camera. That way, when it's windy, I can still talk and you guys can still hear me. So I'll put a sample here. I don't know if you guys can hear me right now because it's so windy, but we are at the westernmost tip of Europe. We're surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean and it's very, very beautiful here. So this camera is really awesome for travel videos. I'm not so happy with it photos wise, maybe because I'm already spoiled by my camera, like a camera. But if you're not so OC with your photos, then this is also pretty good already. But also, this camera pala, it, it makes your skin a little bit blurry and soft. So when you do selfies here, you look prettier than when you do se selfies on your iPhone because the iPhone has no filter. Just a tip if you want. The camera I'm using to film right now is called the Canon 70D. I'll put a photo right here. That's the camera that I use to film most of my makeup tutorials or my sit down and talk videos. Uh, so you can see the quality right now. I used to use that for my Instagram as well before I upgraded to Leica. And it's a really good camera. It's just, it looks like an SLR. So when you're walking around and shooting with it, 
chances are people are gonna stare at you more because it's such a big camera, it looks so professional. Whereas the Leica just looks like a hobbyist camera. Last but not the least, when I'm doing underwater shots, I use my GoPro. A lot of the times, people don't know how I take those photos underwater. It's really cool because what I do is, there's a time-lapse option, photo time-lapse option. So I just let somebody hold it, like the Bangkok guy or whoever I'm with. Shoot it, like position it to where I will swim to. So it's shooting like one photo every half a second. And then I swim in front of it, in front of the camera. And so when I get the camera, I have so many like action shots to choose from and chances are, I'll get a really cool candid one of me swimming away. So that's, that's how I do it. And if you want to get those photos where it's like, <laughs> the struggle is real. If you want to get those photos where it's half water, half like outside the water, then I use this. So you put the GoPro inside. This one is really small, right? So this one just makes it bigger, like makes the surface area bigger. There's a line at the back and that's like you put the water level until this line. And then it gives you a really cool shot. I'm gonna put a sample over here. So you guys know what I'm talking about. If Because I, I don't feel like I'm making any sense right now. <laughs> so I hope that answers all of your questions on the gadgets that I use. I do feel that you don't really need to have one million gadgets to make nice photos and nice videos. A lot of the times content is king, which means that, you know, if you put a nice message out there, if you put a good photo out there, it doesn't really matter what camera you shoot it with. When I started, I just used my sister's old Nikon camera and we had a manual lens. It didn't autofocus, so it really trained us to kind of like, you know, get the shots right. I just want to say that it doesn't really matter what gadget you use because when I started, I didn't have all of these cameras with me and being limited to like just your iPhone or your smartphone or an old camera really challenges you to get creative, to find those angles, to make things work and it makes you see things in a different light. You should use that challenge as an opportunity for you to become more creative and to be more unique with your shots. And so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, follow me on Instagram if you don't already, and check out my blog so you guys can see more photos. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!